Hi, I'm Representative Vincent Baez, your representative from the 42nd Legislative District. The 2016 legislative session has nearly come and gone. At the time of this recording, it's the day before March 10, which is the day the 2016 legislature is scheduled to adjourn. At this point, we've yet to see a final budget proposal, but I'm hopeful budget negotiators will reach an agreement soon so the rest of the body has time to review the budget plan and pass it off to the governor's desk. Unfortunately, there is an appetite in Olympia to increase taxes by as much as $120 million. Some of these tax increases are one we've seen before and have previously rejected. Our latest revenue forecast in February shores our state in a slight deficit, with our economy still slowly recovering. Now is not the time to be raising taxes on hardworking individuals and families. Plus, this is a supplemental budget year, which is meant only for emergency appropriations and small adjustments based on caseload forecasts. I'm hopeful the final budget plan will be balanced and bipartisan. I also remain positive we can adjourn on time with a fiscally responsible budget that moves our state forward. This week, I had the privilege of honoring nearly eight years of dedication and hard work Bruce and Cindy Shepard have done at Western Washington University. I sponsored a resolution this session in recognition of Cindy's work in the community and for the good that has come out of her Compass to Campus program. The program pairs Western Washington University students with local school districts to encourage K-12 students to graduate from high school and pursue a higher education. Thank you, Cindy and Bruce, for your service to our college and community. Your hard work is noticed and immensely appreciated. My office continues to get questions about Alcoa's idling. I'm sure many in Whatcom County were happy to learn that Alcoa would be delaying its curtailment to later this year. This will at least allow affected workers to collect a paycheck for a few more months as they make a decision on their next step. Despite the delay, some employees have opted to enter early retirement. I completely understand and support their decision to do so. That said, it has left the Ferndale plant understaffed and Alcoa is looking for temporary replacements. We are working on budget proviso language to assist Bellingham Technical College to expand worker training opportunities in order to get temporary employees back at Alcoa. Ultimately, we of course want to keep Alcoa operational, but we need to be prepared for worst case scenario. With only a day left until session adjourns, I'm happy to report a number of my bills have passed and will hopefully receive signatures by the governor. These bills, while not monumental, will have a positive impact on their respective industries. Lastly, this is my final video update of the 2016 legislative session. Thank you for taking the time to watch these. I hope they've been valuable to you and I'm looking forward to being back home so I can meet with folks directly in the community. If you ever have any questions, ideas, or want to set up a time to meet with me, just call or email my office. I look forward to hearing from you. Again, I'm Representative Vincent Baez, your representative in the 42nd Legislative District. Thank you for allowing me to serve you.